I fixed the Rise of Skywalker and brought balance to the Force the way George Lucas intended it in LEGO Star Wars with mods. No, not those ones, ew. But first, we need to demonstrate the unlimited, nearly, power of these mods and answer a couple big unanswered Star Wars questions, such as, what about the droid attack on the Wookiees? And what would happen if the Jedi Council were ready for Order 66? Starting with the droid attack on the Wookiees, what about it? Well, the Wookiees never really got a fair fight against the droids because of Order 66. Who would have won an honest, uninterrupted by clones attack on the Wookiees? We will soon know. I'm going to push these mods to the very limit and simulate a massive battle. Three rounds. And with me, I have Kiadi Moody and Yoda on the expert panel, as well as journalists out in the field. I will fix the rest of Skywalker at the end of the video, so stick around for that. All right, let's get some Wookiees in here. Let's create a grand army of the Republic. They're drowning in the sand. What about the drowning of the Wookiees? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm stopping now. Anakin made some good points about sand, but he never talked about the drowning properties. Actually, I should have counted these. I'll handle this. You'll count them? All right, then. Now we need 30 droids over here. I believe this is where I come in. That, that the game is listening. I swear. What? <laughs> Here we go, the battle is on! It's an epic battle of great proportions. I think I'm a little bit biased with this character. I'm gonna switch it out for a neutral. What are you doing? I'm not neutral now. Boss Nass is actually not neutral. It's a very close battle. No, stop! Boss Nass, stop it, boss. I'm gonna get a live interview with these droids. How are you doing? How's the battle going so far? What? I'm neutral. I'm a journalist. Wookiees, oh, this guy's low. We're gonna talk to him. How's it going, man? Oh, you still hanging on? Uh -oh. 15 Wookiees alive against one, two, three, ten. The battle is uh -oh. winning for the uh -oh. Wookiees right now. The thing is uh -oh. that the Wookiees uh -oh. do have uh -oh. an advantage. This is a home planet, but it seems like the Wookiees have won. I did give the battle droids a few extra soldiers. The, the Wookiees definitely took this one home. Oh, some were just spontaneously combusted. Now let's hear an analysis from the experts on the panel. A droid attack on the Wookiee is more of a Wookiee attack on the droids, to be fair. A landslide, this was. Will the second round be as much of a pub stomp as this? Time for round two. Hey, what are you doing over there, BB-8? What the hell? He's just killing himself over and over. He'd rather die than watch his people suffer like this again. 30. All right, let's create a grand army of the Wookiee. I can certainly be of assistance here. No, you're joking. Okay, that's insane. 29, 30. Let's go. The battle is on. Stop killing yourself, BB-8, and be a journalist. Okay, it seems that the uh, Wookiees have the advantage right now. They're fighting valiantly. The Wookiees seem to be doing very, very well. Ah, you know what? The Wookiees have the high ground. Look at the battle droids shooting the ground like that. Let's get an interview with this guy. Uh -oh. How are you still fighting? There's three of you now with no heads uh -oh. and low ground. This is looking pretty bleak. This is not uh -oh. even close. The Wookiees with the high ground though, but I wouldn't say that th it would turn out much differently if they didn't have the high ground. They're fighting at home turf. That's okay. We got a little secret battalion over here. that has been hiding this whole time. Five generals, strong battle droids. This guy's shaking. He's in the line of fire. <laughs> oh no. He's just a worker. What are you doing? You got one left. He's taking cover behind the big pillar. There's a lot of collateral damage here. Oh, and the droids have lost yet again. The Wookiees take... Oh, there's still one left. He's underground. Obi-Wan talked about the high ground being superior, and I, I do agree with him, but the low, low ground is uh, slept on. It's still going. They're still Wookieeing. That's a battle cry. So I think they're in this fight, but they're not shooting. At a certain point, the low ground comes around and starts being more powerful than the high ground. The droids are catching up. How could this have happened? I'm just an unbiased journalist, not trying to affect this battle whatsoever. Just interviewing. How are you doing? Is this going your way? Oh, we've got a 1v1. This is it. Hello? You're just gonna give up now? Hey, you're so close. Seems that the droids won this round. I mean, I don't know if there's any Wookiees down here, but they're not fighting, so... Very impressive. A droid attack on the Wookiees. This was very much indeed. Hmm, interesting round three will be. The final. It is. I have some things to admit that I'm not proud of. I've not been entirely unbiased in my reporting of this droid attack on the Wookiees, but I will try my best in the final round, where we will determine who takes home the Medal of Honor that was never given to the Wookiee at the end of A New Hope. But if they win this battle, every Wookiee shall be awarded with a medal. It is time to deploy the droids. They will actually actually get the high ground this time? The Wookiees were given the high ground last time. Are the Wookiees or the droids gonna take home this victory royale? Got this Wookiee coming in. He's been strategic about the whole thing. Putting down his weapon. What is he doing? Oh, takes out his weapon again. We got close quarters in this one. This is the first one where they actually bring out the fists. This is the most crazy battle so far. They're splitting up. They're... Oh my god. This guy's going for two with his bare hands. 
Okay, looking good for the Wookiees once again. I've never seen such a stomp before. With the low ground, they completely destroyed this army of droids. Oh, this guy's dolphin diving in. I don't think that's necessary at this point. There's one guy left. Right there. There we go. Is that it? They're still shooting, though. There's one guy left. He's behind the cover. There's no head on him, though. I'm gonna get caught in the line of fire here, but let's get an interview. How are you doing, sir? The droids are still hanging on. Oh, C-3PO making a great sacrifice for the last droid of this army. He's lost his limbs before. He can do it again. This battle's not over. Oh, he took him out. Oh, what are you doing? You could have hit. It's a fist fight. One last punch. And the Wookiees will take this. It's been concluded with the low ground. These guys managed to come out on top with one, two, three, four. 24 left. That's insane. Let's travel to Kamino to answer another important question. I've decided to give the clones home turf for this one, since the Jedi will in fact be ready this time. So for an even battle, we will simulate this on Kamino. Kid Fisto, Obi-Wan, Mace Windu, Yarol Poof, Yaddle, Plo Koon, Shakti, I mean Yoda, Yaddle. There might be some missing, but uh, they were busy. Can I get some post order 66 clones in here? I'm, I don't even know, so it's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna spot in some 501st Legion. I have no clue if they're gonna attack the Jedi, but it's gonna be an experiment. It's them. Oh, they are! What? What the hell? Hold, what? Nice what the hell is happening? Why are you kicking me? Am I a Enemy of the Republic? I present to you if the Jedi Council were ready for Order 66. Okay, the only guy that seems to be attacking. Oh, never mind. Got Kid Fisto going in. All right, Yoda is being attacked. He's not in the fight quite yet. He hasn't brought out his lightsaber. Oh my God, I'm being force pushed. Stop, Shakti. I'm neutral in this. I'm a journalist. Hey, stop, stop this, stop. Oh my God, I'm killing clones. Oh, Yaddle is going at it. Yoda's useless. He's just standing there with his stick. Yaddle is going to town. Oh my God, blocking everything. The clones are shooting at me. Don't get distracted. Ki Adi Mundi. He is uh, doing his power stance. Dude, the most unexpected Jedi in the whole bunch. Yarl, Poof, and Yaddle single-handedly taking out five clones. What a mad lad. Shakti is not doing shit. What are you guys doing? Plo Koon, Mace Windu, Shakti, Obi-Wan just vibing here in the back. Why, old Obi-Wan, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be on Tatooine watching over Luke. I mean, rescuing Leia. They won. Yoda's just being a moral support for Yarl, Poof, and Yaddle taking on all the clones. Ki Adi Mooney did a little bit, but the clones are no match for the Jedi Council if they were ready for Order 66. They just got caught off guard, okay? Over to the expert panel. Interesting tactic there by Kit Fisto utilizing BB-8, but BB-8 is a political journalist, not a murderer. Hmm, ironic that was. Fight in round two, now we must. Oh yes, I almost forgot. Let's get 30 clones this time. All right, we got all the Jedi involved this time. Holy shit, this is a beautiful sight. This is amazing. Look at all the laser swords. Obi-Wan is just chilling. He's too old for this. One clone left, fighting for dear life. Is he gonna take out Plo Koon who doesn't even have his lightsaber out? He's trying to fist fight him from 10 feet away. Plo Koon, can I get a word with you? What is your reasoning behind this battle stance? And not, oh. Oh my God. There's one, let me see your identification. Back punch, takes out Yaddle, throws her in the Kamino River. He's still going. He's gonna whip, takes out Mace Windu. Now taking out three Jedi total. He's gonna take out Master Yoda as well. This clone is a very special Order 66 executor. Holy shit. Takes out Shakti. One Jedi left. Obi-Wan is a spectator. He's old. Kiani Mooney, I gotta help you, man. You gotta go in. You have a lightsaber. You can't stand this far. Obi-Wan versus the clone. What is Obi-Wan doing? He's doing his power stance, but he left his lightsaber at home. What is happening? The whole Jedi order depends on you now, Obi-Wan. I'm gonna help you. This is it. Obi-Wan, you have to. You can't. Not like this. <gasps> I'm in. Obi-Wan throws. R2, Obi-Wan saves the day. <laughs> they couldn't have done it more canon than this. Good job, Obi. You've now earned 20 years of isolation on, I mean, 10 years of isolation on Tatooine before you got to fight the Inquisitors. I'm sorry about that. Blame Kathleen Kennedy. Now, a final word from the experts on the panel, Ki Arimundi and Yoda. Time for the moment you've been waiting for. The rise of Skywalker will now be fixed. Be with me. I was beginning to think you weren't coming. Oh shit, here we go again. Hey Annie, can I like end the movie later by stealing your last name? No, that doesn't make any sense and would feel very forced. I, I might do it anyway. You will try. Huge fan here, really love your earlier work, like Post Order 66. Do you mind like maybe signing my Vader helmet for me please? Wait, you mean my helmet? No, Wh what? what? Uh, look, Ray needs help. I can't believe you actually came Annie. Yeah, yeah, shut up, I'm working here. I am the Sith. And I? You're no one, and this is my prophecy. Anakin, 
Help me! Help me! I see through the lies of the Sith. I do not fear the light side as you do. This is where the fun begins. My powers continue to grow. You'll be no match for me. This is the end for you, my old master. I have brought peace, freedom, justice, and security to my old prophecy. This was my trilogy. Well, it was my saga. Anakin is the chosen one. Who are you? I'm Rey. I'm no one. Rey, no one. And that's okay. At 10,000 subscribers, I'm still doing the Duel of the Fates acapella that I promised like two months ago, so get subbing now. Also, watch the video on the screen, it's probably half decent too.